there. I am Diane Simmons from Cake Connection in Jackson, Michigan. And tonight I'm going solo again, but we, we can, we've managed this before, so we'll do fine with it. Um, I am going to show you or introduce you to anyways. I know there's tons of stuff I'm not going to have time to cover yet tonight, but we're going to do painting with buttercream using a palette knife. Okay. So I have to hop back around and zoom the camera down in. So give me just one second. We'll be right back and we'll get going. All righty. Let's get zoomed into my I've got a little workstation glued down here, on, or taped down on the table. There we go. All right. I hope everyone is having a good night today, or tonight. <laughs> um, just a little heads up. The weather is just a slight bit dicey out there right now um i think most of it is to the north of us so i don't expect power to go out but there is a slim slim possibility um if we do i will come right back uh, well i'll give it like up to five minutes or so to come right back and then if not i might have to finish up and just post the rest of the video another time if that's just if we lose power but like I said I don't think we're going to I think it's all north of me but just in case so let's get going we have an assortment of palette knives here okay you do not by any means need all of these Okay, I just, I sent my son off to the store. I said, go get me an assortment so I can show you some different ones beyond what I had here in the store. Um, I did my sample piece that I posted. So this one right here, I just did with, I think I did the whole thing actually with this PME knife, okay? So you can definitely do it with just one. Oh wait, I forgot, I did use one. I used this really pointy one that actually the tip is broke off of it. So I didn't wanna sit here and show you working with a broken tip. But that I just used in the centers of this, so. Okay, but all of this was done with two knives. All right, so you don't need the, the whole kit and caboodle by any means. But I'm gonna show you some different things you can do with them, okay? So then we have palette knives and buttercream and a little more buttercream, all right? That truly is all you need to do this, okay? So first thing I want to show, and I'm going to try and keep my base one here clean. We'll put another piece of parchment down. is before you start i really really recommend um just play with your palette knives a little bit okay and as far as consistency on the buttercream truly it doesn't matter um i mean as far well i say it doesn't matter i really wouldn't work with a thick or anything this is just a standard basic recipe i didn't add any extra powdered sugar or anything to it okay so we're just using a normal normal buttercream um also let me just reiterate too if you're just joining i do not have anyone on the camera tonight so i've got it zoomed in and we're just going to leave it there i just zoomed in on this little area here and I, I will work to the camera for you guys uh questions though i will go back as soon as we get done i will go back through and answer any questions if I don't cover it okay so bear with me on that note and I'm sorry about that but both my camera boys are having a dinner party without me tonight 
that's okay. They need their, their man bonding time too. All right, so like I said, I've just got some buttercream here. I'm just stirring it up. So it's been sitting for the afternoon. Okay. Now, there are, again, there's tons and tons of videos, tons and tons of methods. I'm just going to show you guys what I have found that I like to do with it. Okay. So, I'm going to grab just some of my, I've got two shades of pink here. All right, and you can just work with the one. I'll put that down towards the bottom of the screen here. So different knives, obviously you can see the different thicknesses or widths, whatever, you know, they're thick as far as where they go down the um, shaft of them. You're gonna get different results, all right, to an extent. This one really is a lot, I mean, this is the most substantial different, but we're going to show you some different ones, okay? So the main thing that you want to, I'm going to start with just a basic one. Um, the main thing that you really want to be sure of when you load your knife is that you don't have a bunch hanging off the edge of it. Okay, that's where you'll get really jagged and rough looking petals and to the point they don't even look like petals so much. Okay, so I just spread, I'm getting a terrible shadow on that. Just a minute, let me move my light real quick and see if I can get rid of the shadow on that for you. some buttercream and it's not terribly thick you'll see here in just a minute when I do this um, about how thick it is okay but what I found works best for me is just to run the knife until I get kind of a little bead at the end all right and then I'm just gonna work right here to the side okay now if you notice right here I've got some on the edge you can take one of your other knives if you want and scrape it. You can also go down and kind of scrape it on your workspace that you're working with. All right. But you can just keep building up your petals. Okay. Now I'm hitting the point. It's really, it didn't clean up so well. I'm going to go over here on the other side and just clean that spatula off completely and there we've got another a good clean okay whoops sorry about my, the leg of my tripod right there made a little bit of a mess okay um but with this one you can kind of see where i bumped it i accidentally pushed down a little bit harder than intended but it really curved that pedal up so that's something where I'm saying you really, you definitely want to play with this and see what look you like. Okay. Cause you can also, if you don't push down as much, you can drag it out farther, which you might want to do with a leaf. Um, alternatively, oops, let me put a little bit more in there. If you press down a lot more right at the beginning and then pull out, Okay, you get more out at your edges, and then you can just kind of pull down. Um, let's see. Here, we'll grab the skinny one here. Just put some on there. Now that one, if, did you notice I had my little ball went past because I was back in the mode of filling up my other one there that was a lot bigger. Okay, so there I cleaned it off the edges. Okay, so I got a little bit more on there than what I wanted. 
That one I really messed up. I didn't have that cleaned up very good. Okay. Now another thing you can do, let me grab another. Okay, so we'll have this one off to the side a little bit. All right, I'm still gonna work with this skinny one. So you can load it the full length if you wanna do like a really longer long pedal, um, your leaves or something too, okay? And you can kind of clean this back and forth on the edge with your paper. And I'm just pushing that down a little bit on each side so the edges get clean on it, okay? Actually, I'm gonna do this back here by these so you can see. All right, now you can tilt one way or the other and you'll get a heavier, if you want something off to the side like that for some reason. Okay, I'm gonna pick that back up here. Get that back on. There's just so much you can do, all right, if you wanna move it a little sideways. And then you can go back in, if you were doing, for example, a longer, um, oh, I don't, basically probably a long leaf is the only time I would do this, but you could go back in and just gently clean up your excess and then just leave kind of that, almost, it almost looks kind of like a wave when people are out skiing where they, I know there's a word for it and I'm sorry, I don't know it, I'm not a skier, um, but where it like does that little push and wave of water as they're skiing along, water skiing, okay? And this, I really, really encourage, just play with your, okay, that I barely pushed, but I did kind of even pressure on all of it and then just pulled back. Whoops, kind of messing up now what I did. Going back in there to show you. Okay, so it very much, it just kind of smushed everything out to the edge instead of like these where it pushed it just out mainly at the tip and then thinned it out as you went in so for example, if this were the center of a flower here, you're thinning the petals out as you go in. Um, where I just did that, where I had completely loaded this. Okay, and again, as I work this back and forth a little bit, I'm just cleaning off to get smooth edges. You could also definitely take an additional palette knife and just run along there like that and clean those off too, okay? But this, for this one here, I just kind of push everything down at once and then pull, okay? So I got a lot longer, but you've got almost an even spread all the way around the edge instead of just up here at the tip, okay? So I'm gonna load it again in that manner, all right? And then if I just push harder on it, you see it smushes it out a lot further, definitely, but you get a lot heavier end up here too, okay? Whereas if I just do the little bit out here at the tip, then you're just gonna get mainly just right there when you push down you're gonna get some built up there, okay? So now, we're gonna wipe all that away. I'll spread this back out again. Show you some of the other knives, okay? A little bit more down here. I want this a little bit thicker this time because I'm going to use this one. I'm gonna show you how I load this one. All right. And I'm also at the same time going to show you how I do a little bit of irrigation in there. All right. So remember I had two different shades of pink that I was stirring up. So I just grabbed one of my knives here. 
and I literally just spread it around like this, okay? There we go. And then let's go back with my spatula and just spread that. And again, this time I am leaving it a little bit thicker on there when I spread that. And if you notice, I'm not being real fussy. Yes, there's lines in there from where I spread it. I don't care. We, we don't care about that. Okay. So the other ones, if you remember, I kind of, whoops, let me grab a bigger one here so you can see a little better. So these when I loaded, typically I'll go load them from the side and just stop when it hits the, what would be the top of the blade. Okay. And push them down. This one, I found I like it better to work. Let's see if I can do this towards you guys. Hopefully, you can see it a little bit better on camera. So, if I go towards, I just want to let that build up a little bit into a bead. Okay. And then go push it out. Okay. I'll keep working towards you guys. All right. And I just want to get the end cleared off. Okay. And I want to do one and show you here. Okay. So here I've got that jagged where I don't have a good clean edge there. So I want to show you what kind of pedal we get. If you don't clean the edge of your blade off before you smash, it stays there basically, okay? So let me lift that up a little bit and see if you guys can see that, hopefully. Okay, so these over here, I cleaned the edges and these I didn't. So you see, it really makes a difference. You want to, once you load your frosting on there, you definitely want to be sure you've got a good clean edge there. Okay? Because it is going to show up. All right? So there we've got some basics. And really the biggest thing to get, it's just play with them. Okay? You'll be shocked. Even if you think, oh, that's not working out. That's not what I want. I promise you're going to be blown away once you start putting your flowers together and building it on your workspace, you know, on your cake or your cookie or whatever it is that you're making. You will be shocked at how well it comes together, even if you think it's, oh, that's weird looking right now. I, I don't like that. Let it come together and it's going to look so cool. Okay. And I have to tell you, uh, if any of my friends that know me real well are watching, <laughs> this is so out of my comfort zone as far as, oh, what do I want to say? Um, it's, it's just not OCD and clean lines, okay? I'm very, very much, I like, I like little dots, I like, I like them measured out and spaced apart just right. Okay, so for me to tell you, I promise it'll come together, that's saying something. All right? <laughs> so, now I want to show you a couple. Um, I do have some empty palettes that we're going to work with too. But remember last week? If you joined us, if not, you can go back and watch anytime. We did stamping. So I stamped because this way you've got a cool outline for everything. Okay. So now I kind of want to look and I guess I keep doing this off camera. I should show you guys. I'm just wiping the knives off every so often just to clean them off, okay? And it's not wet or anything, I'm just taking a paper towel and just wiping them off. 
so they're clean for the next time I go grab them. All right. Um, one thing also with palette knives, just a general FYI, if you're not used to them, um, you can wash them in your dishwater. I would more so recommend take your washcloth, get your soapy water on it, and come out and clean it, clean this off. Um, don't recommend so much putting the hand, you know, putting the whole thing right down in dishwater. And the other reason you don't want to leave them in dishwater, they will rust, okay? And as soon as you get them out of the dishwater and rinse them off, dry them completely, thoroughly, super thoroughly as soon as you get them out, okay? Make sure you've got all the water off of them because all these little weld spots and stuff, they, I, trust me, I promise you, they will rust. I don't know if I have one of my old ones or older ones sitting here. Um, Oh, uh, this one, it looks dirty. It got dropped down in my dishwater after class one time and I didn't realize it. And that's what it does. Okay. Starts out with that, but it still, it was start, started to corrode from the water. But they will like completely rust out on you if you leave them in there too long. Okay. So. I kind of want to look through what do I want to use um, and I'm looking at the size of most of my petals to kind of determine I might use uh, I don't think I'm going to I think I want to use one of my pointier ones I think I'm gonna use this one here and we'll see how it starts out see how it looks all right now I'm gonna work part of it on I want to be able so you guys can see everything here. Okay, see both processes. Actually, I'm going to put this down here towards the bottom so this is up by me. All right, so I'll load this towards you guys. Now, remember most of these I did on the side, okay? And I'm trying to watch what I'm doing here. It's a little bit backwards for me. All right, I'm just cleaning that the edges off of it real quick. Okay. Shoot down here a little bit, just make sure I'm on camera for you. All right. So I'm just going to start out here and I don't care if I completely hit in the outlines of this, but I'm just starting and pulling that in. Okay. I don't know if I can see. That's too hard for me to sit there to load it towards you guys. I'm sorry. Okay. Got loaded, I cleaned it off a little bit. All right. You don't need a ton on there for each petal. Little dabble, do ya? Who remembers the old thrill cream commercials from when when some of us were kids? I've heard people tell me about it because I'm certainly not old enough to, to remember that. Oops. Come off super clean. Okay. All right. And I'm not going to sit here and finish this entire thing. You guys know me. I don't want to bore you with it. Okay. Now, one thing I do want, and I, I will finish this one and show it on, I'll take pictures of it afterwards. Okay. Um, one thing you can do, you can definitely just do the single petals like I'm doing here. Okay. I'm going to set this up here closer. Do just a couple more here. Try and do this kind of quickly. Okay, I'll stop there for now with the flower part. Um, if you want to leave it single petals, you could leave it like that. You definitely could load more frosting further down your blade 
to cover. And if I were going to do that, I would actually use, here, I'll do this. I'll do another one here off to the side. Okay. So I loaded my longer skinny blade. All right. But then you could go over, let's find here's a good one. Let's see if I can step it. Okay, but you can fill out more of the petal like that. All right. And then I just went back in where it really went over where I wanted it to. Just kind of scrape that away. Okay, so it just depends on the look that you want. If you want the long full petals like that, definitely an option. But the reason I did this this way, I'm going to show you something else. Okay. So you can come back in here. Oops, I got to scrape a little bit of this off. Not as clean as I'd hoped. There we go. Okay. So I'm right in between two of them. And basically adding another row of petals, okay? I just really like this look, putting more petals in there. I think it gives it more kind of like a, almost like a Dahlia look. Can you do this? And again, this is something you could do this directly on the top of cupcakes, on the top of cookies. Um, you could do it in royal icing also. Okay, you would just want to use basically kind of a medium consistency, nothing too stiff. All right, and then if so desired, you could, I switched over to my small one here, okay? And you could come back in and even put little tiny. I see almost a little too thick over here that I ran out. Okay, so you can work with different spatulas to get, you know, as the smaller you go. And again, if you joined us a little late and missed it, I am sorry. I do not have anyone on the camera tonight and I can't get to your questions. I will answer as soon as we're done. I'll go back through and look at the questions and answer anything afterwards, okay? I apologize for that. All right, so there, you know, you can see the difference. This was doing a long with, actually with this spatula or blade. Um, but I loaded further down with the icing and just kind of smashed it all down evenly and then pulled out. Okay. Where these over here, I've just loaded the end of my knives. So we just got that little bit, basically put the frosting out at the end of it. Okay. Two totally different looks. Just depends on, you know, what you like, what you want to do. Okay. I'm going to go scrape this one off now because I want to finish the whole thing up in this design for when I do the picture for you guys. Okay. And then the leaves are basically same thing. Okay. Set my pink aside here. So I've got two different colors of green that I mixed up. All right. So there's our greens that I've got. And I'm going to spread those out on some parchment paper real quick. Just a second here. Pulling off my knife. Give it a quick stir. down some of the darker, set that out of the way, now 
We'll get the more avocado-y, lighter one. Stir that up real quick. this over here in case you missed this earlier and this is just a piece of parchment paper um, you could certainly use like a silpat of some sort um, cutting board if you have it works I mean honestly most anything okay I worked right on off the table before all right and I'm going to kind of work some of these together on purpose. So we've got a little variegation going here, right down the center. Actually gonna grab a little bit more of this light mix in here. I end up losing most of it. Grab a little bit more. Okay, there we go. Clean my glove off here. Big old mess going on. All right, so the leaves again, kind of depends on what you want to do with them. Okay, um, if you wanted something I'd almost say more a fern sort of looking with a bunch of tiny delicate petals. Definitely you'd want to go with your smaller, your very narrow blade. Um, I think I'm going to use... I think I'm going to use this one right here. Okay. So I'm going to kind of take this halfway off here. I'm going to work on this leaf. Oh, fiddlesticks. That was the other thing I wanted to tell you. Be sure and do what's behind your flowers first. Because I grabbed the pink and had that out. I messed up here. So I'll show you how to fix that. But normally you want to do kind of think of things um, as they would be layered towards you. Okay, if that makes sense. So the leaves are going to be behind the flower. You want to do your leaves first. So that way I should have covered that up when I did my pink petals out there. Okay, it would have covered up the end of it. So I'm just going to kind of, well, I'll, I'll show you. We'll get that fixed in there. Okay, but the rest of these, I definitely, you know, when I finish this up later, um, I want to do the leaves first. So that way, if I've got my leaf done here and I've got some green coming down, then when I go put the pink on, it's going to kind of cover the bottom, I guess, not so pretty part of it. Okay? So, I'm going to kind of go into a variegated spot too. And I am pressing down much, much lighter than I was with the pink and I'm kind of dragging this out a little bit more okay I'll grab another one just to clean off my edge here there we go okay so with the pink I pushed down so you could see it was much more translucent as I drug the blade out okay I'm not doing that so much with the green I'm doing a much gentler, yes, I'm pushing it down so it kind of puddles out there, but I want to pull it into the center of the leaf more. So I want it more of a solid green, okay? All right. Now here I've just got to be really careful and watch my blade some. So this might end up looking a little bit wonky because I'm trying to keep it out of the pink. I don't want to mess up my flower here. All right, so basically I've got those on there. Go see if I can hit a little one. Whoops, get my blade cleaned off here. Okay, so I got that. 
I'm gonna try. Uh, let's cross our fingers. The cake gods are being nice tonight. Hey, not too shabby. All right. So then, so we got that in there. And I'm just going to take just a little bit of my green here. I'm on the tip of my very small blade. Okay. Grab just a little bit more of it. I just want to go in there and get the green in there and kind of smooth it the best I can. To blend that in. All right. And again, normally I wouldn't have to do that, but... Let me hold that up so you guys can see, hopefully. I just want to make it look like it's tucked in under that flower, okay? Hopefully that shows up good, okay? And again, the rest of them, um, I'm going to finish this up after I get done shooting the video. Okay, I won't make you guys sit here and watch me do that whole thing all night. But the rest of these leaves, I'm definitely going to go through and do those first. So that way I can just, when I put my final petals on down here, I don't have to, I can just go back in, scrape that off a little bit, you know, clean it up. But then when I put my pink on, it's going to look like it's just naturally above the leaf. Okay. So there we've got those. Oh, shoot, shoot. Um, actually, I do have to finish up one of them to show you. I'm sorry. I gotta show you the center. Now, which one did I use for my flower? I used, that was my leaf. Let me set that with the green. Did I use? This one, does that look right? That looks right. Okay, I think I used that one. All right, just a minute. Let me finish this up. I will be super fast, hopefully. Okay. Just want to show you guys what I did for the center of it. And again, I'm, I'm just using my finger to be real fast about this. I'm just cleaning up the blade that way. Okay. And this, I do have to be a little bit more careful when I'm pulling these in right now, just because I got the other half of the flower done. Normally, I would say definitely go around your entire flower with all, if you're going to do the layered petals like I did here. All right. Get everything done for the outer layers and keep, I mean, that, that's kind of the general rule with this for whatever you're working on. Um, do everything furthest away from you first, okay? So like this, I should have done all of my outer petals on this flower before I'm putting this next row in there. I was just trying to not make you guys sit and watch the whole completion of a flower, but I guess we need to. Oops. Okay, and then if you remember, I came back in, did I use this one? I think I did. And I put just a smaller third row of petals in there. Okay, and just cleaning my blade off, trying to do it quickly for you. All right, and you could also do this, um, this inner row with some of the green or even like a, um, no, I would probably do a green on, with the pink, um, just to look kind of, you know how around the center of the flower a lot of times you'll have um, like a few green, soft green petals. 
just to give it that look. Okay. And now for the center, actually, let me grab, this is going to sound weird. I have some purple sitting over here. Bear with me and you'll see what I'm doing here. So I'm going to take a little bit of my green and my purple, mix it together for kind of a weird brownish hue we should get. And a grayish brown, probably. Well, it's a different green anyways. Let me get a little bit more purple. So I want it just a little bit murkier looking. Oops. We almost lost that flower after all that work. And I'm just mixing up a color for the flower center. Okay? I don't really want it black, but I don't want the same green as my leaves either. Okay, here we go, and I think that paper towel is about done. We'll grab the next one. Make sure I got that cleaned off good. There we go. All right, then spread this out. There we go. And I'm going to use my small blade again here. There, we should be back on camera with everything. Okay, and here I'll see if I can work towards you guys with this. Okay, whoops, spilled up there. There we go. And I'm basically just doing the same thing, going around just trying to work too fast here. I just want to do the same. All right, I got to start pulling these towards me so I can see this a little bit better. And I'm barely pushing these down when I do them, okay? Because I don't want to pull a lot of that pink up. So I'm just being very gentle. Just kind of pushing that down. Clean that off again. Oh, I thought I just hit my flower when I did that. I've been very upset with myself. Okay. All right, we're going to call that good. And I'm going to lift up. Hopefully you guys can see that. I'm not sure where. I hope I'm hitting the camera. Okay. And we'll try coming a little bit. I don't know if the camera's going to zoom in on it or focus in on that. Hopefully it will. <laughs> But again, I'll post pictures after we're done, okay? Um, I'm going to set this aside for now, okay? And again, I'll finish this up afterwards and then post pictures. Um, oh my gosh, I've already been 45 minutes. Okay. So, I don't know if I will get it posted tonight. It may be tomorrow, all right? I was here till 10 o'clock last night, so I'm not going to lie. I kind of want to go home tonight. So you're probably getting it tomorrow. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So I'm going to set that one aside for right now. But again, here is one. This is the one I did just to post the picture for the announcement for the demo. Okay. And here's one that I did the two layers with like I just did with the pink. Okay. And then you can see we did kind of the same thing with the leaves. Um, and then just filled in the center with a different color. All right. Then let's grab one of these. 
Let's see. All right, so let's do, I'm thinking let's do some purple and some pink on this. I want to do um, a little bit more of a kind of a scene, like for a cake top, okay? So I do have some of the green. It's the same consistency and everything, just a tip two in here, all right? You don't have to do this base on there. I just think it's easier to have something to work with, okay? to get rid of a little bit of my center right there. Just so I don't hopefully pull that up in the main flower. Now that I did that, I'm sitting here thinking, I don't know if this is going to be big enough for the flower. I want to show you guys. Oh, well, we're going to roll with it. Okay. So, if you want, and again, remember you want to think furthest away from you as far as depth, okay? So, if you want some smaller leaves out here, okay, you've got to put those on and I'm working from this one that I did a little bit ago, and I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of pulling back with it because my icing has started to crust up a little bit. So, I really didn't want to, but I, uh, I'm definitely gonna have to. Um, I gotta respread some of my icing around a little bit here. I didn't wanna blend up where I've got that variegated. Oh well. Okay, I'm going to clean our blade off again, okay. Much better. Way back down there. See how that broke? It doesn't want to play nice. Get some more and cover that up. Really? Creepy thing. Okay. And you can do just as few or as many of these as you want. All right. Oops. Just kind of little accents to break up some of your flowers out here. Okay. And yes, if I were doing this on a cake, I probably would put many more on there, but we're rolling with it. Now, alternatively, you could go out here. And kind of connect these in. Or you could just outright pipe some little green buds on there, okay? And bear, don't don't be laughing at this, people. I'm piping upside down for you. <laughs> All right, we're rolling with it. Okay. So there we go. Now. We basically want to do same thing. Clean off a couple blades here. Get our green off. Shoo that out of the way real quick. 
Okay. So I want to spread some. So I'm trying to think in my mind here real quick what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to do my big flower purple. So I want to spread my pink out a little bit thinner here because I'm just going to do some smaller buds with it. Okay. Um, basically very much along the same lines of what we just did with the green. And there I learned my lesson from the green setting up and crusting over. So we just re-spread the pink a little bit. Okay, I'll try and work towards you guys. All right, so I'm just scraping up just to get a nice little bead on there. And let me think where to... I gotta turn just a little bit to work with me here. Sorry. Okay, so we're putting, like I said, just a small, small amount on there. And then I'm staying away from the green. When I push that down, um, just because if you noticed, I was pulling that stem up. I would rather just go in with my tip and connect to it. Or you could absolutely leave it like this because this whole thing is kind of abstract painting sort of feel to it, okay? So you do what you want. And again, we're just putting some random, ugh, that's what I was worried about. All right. So that stem's a little shorter. That's okay. And we're just putting some buds in here. Okay. And again, whatever, you don't have to do this. But if you want, you could just pipe little tails out. I'm not going to go through and do all of them like that, but okay. So you can pipe little tails on to, to hook them to the stem, little calyx on them, or you can just leave them out there loose like that too. They'll look fine either way. Okay. But whatever you're going to do out here, you need to get everything done. Okay. Now I grabbed my bigger blade. I was using this little one. Okay, I grabbed one a little bit wider out here at the tip. Because I do want to go put just a few. I'm sure, maybe I'm going to be able to get in here. And I'm just going to do this one side of it too, okay? Ah, pulled up more. That's okay. I'm probably going to end up covering most of this up with my flower I'm going to do here in just a second anyways. Okay, and now if you noticed, I'm just taking, you can, and this is the fun part about this, where you've got that big kind of buildup of icing, you can take your palette knife and kind of move stuff around a little bit if it doesn't land exactly where you want. Okay, or you can curl up the edge of something after it sits for just a second. Okay. So I'm not going to worry about the other side right now. Actually, I lied. I have to worry about the other side right now because of what we just learned on our last item. Because if we don't, what will happen? We can't get to it, right? Right, Di. Thanks for answering me, guys. <laughs> And remember, I will get to your questions as soon as we are done. I don't have anyone in here with me right now. Hopefully, I know Joan was going to watch. Um, hopefully, she's answering if you've got basic ones. But otherwise, I will help you out as soon as I get done filming. Okay? There. We're going to call that side good enough for right now. Because I want to do a flower with the big one. Alright. 
right, so let me set that right there. And then I need to get a clean sheet of parchment here. And I have kind of a soft lavenderish purple here. All right, let me stir that up real quick. And I actually, <clears throat> excuse me, if you notice this is like a little bit toned down, I mix just a tiny bit of green into it when I mixed it, just to give it a little bit softer. I don't know. I guess I kind of kind of tone it down a little bit. I just like that color. Not not Wedgwood, but heading in that direction. Okay, now I'm not sure if you guys can tell on camera when I'm going to use that bigger blade, I am definitely putting the icing out here on my sheet thicker, okay? Like I said, I don't know if you guys can, I'll try and turn that backwards, um, can tell, I really don't know how to describe it, thickness, hopefully you can see once I, I'll run this towards you guys once to load it. Okay, remember with this one, I hold it straight and then go in as opposed to coming off the side. Just I think it's just because the blade is so big, I just don't like the way that it loads. Just now I gotta clean, clean my blade off here. Okay, so then I've got a clean blade just to clean that edge off. All right, I'm gonna do my first one out there right at the edge. Man, I'm trying to keep this so both of these are on camera for you. I'm not gonna be able to for too much longer. So I gotta turn the, turn my sheet of fondant around. All right, and again, I'm just cleaning that edge off, okay? Now, depending on how many petals you want to do, if you think you're going to do six, you can do this either way. You can just go around the circle, okay? Um, or sometimes you may want to do your bottom three petals and then go do your other two, your other three so they're on top of it, okay? Totally depends on what you're thinking. Um, ah, buttercup. lay right back down like it's a good little piece of frosting. Okay, right. start working this towards me. All right, I'm gonna take this off off screen since you watched me load it a couple times. Okay. Oh, for reals. That thing hates me tonight. Okay, clean it off. Well, let's go see if we can pick up the green piece of frost. Oh my, okay. Just a moment before I put my, I'm gonna pipe a fresh piece that hopefully will not pick up because it will still be damp. Holy cannoli. Y'all better not be laughing at me about my silly stem there. Okay, clean that off. And one thing too I didn't really mention, but I'm thinking you probably can see this. I'm pushing a little bit on an angle or putting more pressure over on this side when I press this down. So Hopefully you can see, we've got a thicker edge over here. Okay, and thinning it down over there. So again, I'm pressing down a little bit harder on this side just as I, as I do that, okay? Oh my gosh, that thing is trying to come up again. That stem hates me, you guys. Um, yeah, we're going. 
too. I wasn't sure if I wanted to put one more or not. Okay. Now, you could, again, go back in with your smaller one and with some of your green or something and put some in there. Or, wait, I'm going to do that. Um, or you could grab your piping bag and go put just some little stems in there, too. Actually, I think for sake of time, let's do that. Green is not my friend tonight. Okay, and then I actually have some white in a bag too. I'm just gonna put a few random white ones outside there. I don't even want to admit. I kind of think I'm having trouble. I don't think I'm hitting the icing. But I need my, my darling glasses on. And that just annoys me. Oh, well. Oh, see, I thought I'd like those white out there, but now I don't know that I do. <clears throat> Soft them up with a little bit of green in there. So there is our bigger blade flower. All right, some little stems out there. And we've already been an hour, so. Hopefully we've gotten enough to show you guys, give you some good ideas, all right? But really, the biggest thing with this, just play with it and have fun. Don't worry too much about being you have to kind of let go of your um, OCD self a little bit with this, okay? Which I, I will acknowledge it is super hard for me. So if I can do it, you can do it. So let me grab there. There, you can see a few different things, okay? And again, I'll get pictures on here. I'll have them on um, tomorrow morning. As soon as I finish these up, I will upload some pictures for you. Okay, close-ups of the completed projects. But that, basically in a nutshell, is an introduction to palette knife flowers done with buttercream. Um, again, this absolutely can be done with royal icing if you want to do this on your cookies. Okay. Um, don't don't feel that you're restricted that oh I have to use buttercream you most definitely do not okay so have fun with it and just kind of let go of worrying about everything being perfectly in alignment and stuff and just have fun on that note I thank you guys so much for joining me I don't want to try turning the camera back up all right, I might. We'll see. All right, hopefully it's on me. I don't know. We'll see. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me tonight. And we will see you next Tuesday at 8 o'clock. Have a wonderful evening. If you are in line of all the storms going through kind of the Midwest area over the next couple days, stay safe out there. But have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.